Ooh, hello there, my fellow Skars. Good times with Scar here, and welcome back to Scar Industries, where we're building our super awesome mechanics headquarters. And as you can see in our last episode, we built our bear structure, and we're starting to work on the details. So something that was missing in the last episode, of course, was texture and color, and that's what I'm working on now, is trying to incorporate some of the little details in our pillars. So that's what we're gonna work on. We're gonna start carrying this design throughout the entire build, and of course, we need to go in with a roof design. So let's actually jump in over here. And as you can see, this is kind of the basic design that I would like to add to the pillars to try to add a little more design. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sneak down here and we're going to remove that layer like so. Okay, and then we're gonna flip these pieces like that. And we're just gonna start to layer them in like so. And look at that, isn't that awesome? Then we're gonna jump over here and we're gonna swoop over here and place those not like that. Don't place it like that, place it like that. There we go. And there we go, we're starting to add those extra details that will definitely make this particular build super awesome. All right, so we're gonna place that down like so, and here we go. Oh no, we got kicked off. We got kicked off of our best friend. I thought we were friends, scaffolding. Thought we were friends. <laughs> all right, we're going all the way up, okay? So now that we're up here, what we're gonna do is we are going to remove this layer once again. And like we talked about in our last episode, a couple improvements I'd like to see. These little pieces, it would be cool if we could click and drag them across. But unfortunately, they are just, you know, you gotta place individually pieces. And it's kind of tedious a little bit, but it's okay. Because uh, we can definitely add a lot of awesome, awesome texture to our build. All right, so how are we doing so far? Looking good, looking good so far. So now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna sneak over here. We're gonna cut out that section like so. And then we're going to place these pieces in here and it'll give this area that much, much needed extra detail and color. There we go. Oh, I'm loving it. That is starting to really come out good. I feel like there could be a couple more areas of improvement, but I feel like this is definitely, definitely on the right track. Okay, so in this little section, we're going to do just like we did on the other side. And I'll see you in just a minute. And welcome back. And look at that. That's starting to really come out pretty good, I think. Anyway, so let's uh, remove that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sneak on over here and we're just going to cut out this section right here. And then from there, we're just going to apply these blocks in there like so. And then from the interior, we can cover these up if we choose to. There we go. Oh, hello. You're not supposed to be there. That one sunk in the quicksand. There we go. And that just adds that extra little detail this was so in need of. There we go, and then cut that piece out, and then we can apply those blocks like so. Now, let's see what we've got to do up here. So, some of my ideas for up there could be maybe a sign or something along those lines, but for now, I think it might look good if we just completely remove this interior section like so, and then we just start applying these blocks, make sure they're facing in the right orientation, which they're currently not. There we go, and place those along there. So in our next episode, we're definitely gonna build a vehicle. So I would love to get some feedback from you guys on what style and what kind of vehicles you guys wanna build. Um, I'm feeling like some, maybe some vehicles from movies or TV shows might be kind of fun. Um, I was thinking about maybe even a Flintstones vehicle. I don't know, there's all sorts of amazing ideas, maybe some fun ride vehicles from Disneyland. I don't know, there's all sorts of fun and exciting different possibilities. So what I would love you guys gave me some ideas. What would you guys like to see for some vehicle builds? So I'm looking forward to starting some vehicle builds here in Scar Industries and hopefully you guys are too. And then we go, I think this is starting to look good. So let's jump down and see what that looks like from afar. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I love the blue. I love the orange accents. I think it's all really kind of coming together pretty darn great. Um, a little overhang would look nice over the door. So I wanna work on getting something like that assembled. And we'll just place these blocks like that, giving us that nice orange accent color. And this is actually a lot like my channel colors. So uh, yeah, so let me finish the above the door area and I'll be right back. Now that we have the blue looking beautiful above the doorway, what I would like to do is make a modification on this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this block all the way across and then we'll just even it up like so. There we go, looking good, looking good. And then we're going to fix our window and we don't need this super big window. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring that down just about there and now we have a more proportional window and then eventually we can add the little blue strip across there like we have for our accent color. But I think that is starting to look pretty darn awesome. So 
For our roof, I feel like I'm going to do a very simple roof because I feel like we have a very detailed exterior starting to emerge. So I think for now, I think what we could do is do kind of a simple roof. So let's go all the way up. There we go, jump on over here and start to apply our roof line. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, like we talked about, a simple roof along with, if I can get the right block, there we go, uh, microphone's covering it up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do skylights in every, every other block. So we're gonna do one like right here and one right there and then you guessed it, two over there. We're gonna use this particular material, um, our staircase landing. It's gonna look really cool once we're all finished up and are ready to go. So what we're gonna do now is I'm trying to figure out the best way of explaining where we wanna even start at this point. I think we're gonna start right here off of this column. And then like we talked about before, we just kind of extend the blocks all the way as far as we can reach instead of kind of count them because that can just get kind of tedious and things of that nature. So I'm just gonna kind of, just gonna start filling in the, the roof line like this. It's kind of hard at first, but I think it'll be simple once we get going here a little bit. There we go. Now we're rolling. We're rolling, aren't we? That's right. So there we go. Once we get it like a good little start here, I can kind of see what we're doing. Yes, that's what we want. Perfect, that looks really great. So what we're gonna do, like we've uh, kind of showed here, is start to apply this. And this little extra lip is going to look pretty cool. And it might even add an opportunity to add some of those little orange triangle shapes um, that might be a little extra detail, a little extra color that I think this could really use. And then, like I said, those um, those little uh, skylights, I think those will look really cool. So. I'm just gonna start filling in the roof, nothing fancy, just kind of following this pattern. I like to add this little extra gap right there, it's just a little extra dimension. Um, and yeah, so I think this will be uh, pretty good. So I'm just gonna continue to follow those uh, along here and I'll see you in a moment. And there we go, we've got our roof all lined up and ready to go. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sneak over here and we're just gonna start to fill in the kind of office area's roof line. So. For this, we're just gonna lower this just to this layer right across here. And we're just gonna start bringing that across even with that. This will be one block or one little uh, chunk or so lower than the garage's roof. As you can see how we just kind of start filling that in. Oh, there we go. But uh, that's the look good. I think uh, once we get this all done, you guys will kind of see how it'll all flow together. And then we can start putting those smaller details together. And uh, yeah, I think the interior of the garage is gonna be really fun. I don't have a lot of ideas for the shop yet, kind of uh, where the, uh, the business takes place. So I guess this area is kind of a work in progress. Maybe this will be finally where we're gonna put our toilet paper. But uh, yeah, so let me fill this in and we'll start working on those interior details. All right, so what I'm working on now is as you can see this strip of our concrete that runs along this area here. I'm starting to add some of our orange little triangles just to add a little extra detail and color on the roof line here. So in between here, we just kind of stick some of these guys in there like that. And now let's jump down, we'll get it rid of our scaffolding and uh, take a look at that from a distance. And woo, I like that. I may go one cement pillar above that and I think that might top it off or we'll leave it at here. I'm not sure exactly where I wanna leave it at the moment, but I am liking that. I feel like that is starting to definitely come together and it's just trial and error. It's just trial and error, trying to find out what can make the best design. There we go. And then I just wanna do a little something here, nothing too crazy, just something to frame out our doorway. And I wanna do it just about one little bit lower than the, the normal columns like there, there. I think it just helps kind of distinguish that just a little bit better. And yeah, I think that is starting to definitely come out. I'm gonna to continue to tinker around with the roof a little bit, but uh, if you're following along, definitely try that. If you don't like it, you can go back to how it was, uh, but I'm gonna to continue to kind of tinker around with it and I'll catch you in a minute. I think this is it, my friends. I think we've got something. So what I've done is I've ran another layer of our concrete just above this little triangle right there. And I really like what it's done. So let's head back down a little bit and let's jump down. And as you can see, I think that's it. That's definitely it. I think that, that distinguishes the garage from the shop and I think that's perfect. And as you can see, I've also placed upside down little triangles just above the door, kind of holding up this little awning. 
And I'm almost thinking this could be this could be better. I'm just not exactly sure what yet. So I just want to distinguish that door a little bit more, but I think we're really getting there. I think it's almost time to start working on the interior, but if you're following along, just add one more layer of the roof on top, and I think you'll get something super awesome. So let's finish this up and uh, work on that interior. All right, and welcome back to Scar Industries, and our garage is forming, and it's starting to look pretty good. So let's head into the interior, and as you can see, I've laid out our skylight arrangement. So I've placed these grates down onto our orange platform here with a spacing of two, as you can see, like so. And I placed another one over here with, of course, it's spacings of two like that. Now what I've done is I've come over here right like that and then look straight up and cut out a hole. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to look right here and then we're going to cut out a hole like so. And then we're just going to cut that out like that all the way across here. Now, once we do get this placed, now there will be have to be a little bit of a tricky thing, but it'll it'll be really easy and eventually it'll actually start to look pretty darn cool. Um, what I mean by that is there's physics in the game. So this grate will just fall straight down. So we're just going to do a little tricky business and we'll get it all set up and ready to go. And I think this will look really cool and just give the interior of the garage a little extra detail. It's a little dark in here. Um, there is a headlight in the game, but there's not a lot of light that it gets, not a lot of lights produced from it. Um, and the other aspect is I assume eventually this game will have a day and night cycle, which I am actually looking forward to because I think it'll add a lot more detail to the game. Um, so that is a thing that I hope will come and just a survival mode some form of survival mode I think would be really cool and if you were able to play with your friends on a like a large-scale multiplayer server like a Minecraft Oh, that would be so amazing. But anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go boom and a bam And we're gonna sneak over here and as you can see I broke some stuff over here, but we'll fix that up right about now There we go. Okay so here's our metal grate, and as you can see, we're gonna place it in there like that, and we're gonna have those little cement, little blocks are holding it up, because otherwise, if we were to place it in here, watch this. <laughs> Seriously, this fell last time I put this in here. There's no way that worked. There's no way. <laughs> I don't even know, my friends. I tried that, and it fell straight through the ground, and I have a sneaky suspicion that it's gonna do it again. But uh, yeah, it's funny. Some things in this game are physics based and some aren't. But of course it's in beta, it's still a work in progress. Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of funny because I just kind of tested this out and it had fallen down on my head. So that's a thing, but we're not gonna let that stop us. No, we are not. But we're gonna place these guys like that. And I think that's really cool. It just gives it a little extra detail and looks a little bit better than the cement pieces because, well, like I said, originally this thing fell on my head. But uh, there we go. Let me get that across there. Oh, oh, hello. You're not supposed to be there. Get out of there. Get out of there. There we go. Cut that piece out. And awesome. We've got ourselves a little bit more detail in here. Maybe it didn't fall because of these on the ground. Uh, maybe. I don't know. But there we go. We got that all set up. And let's do this side over here. All right, and welcome back, and we're putting our final touches on our skylights. As you can see, I placed another one of them on top of the previous one, and then I put the little triangly guys and the big bolts on top of them, and I think that really ties everything in together very nicely. And let's jump down, we'll take our scaffolding, oh, all the way down. And as you can see, I put some bolts on the side of the building. I think that looks kind of cool. I think we could really experiment and have some fun with some more pipes and wires and ducking and all sorts of cool stuff. And I placed some more of those over here. So you can place these bolts on either side and let's head inside. And we've got a blank canvas to work with, which is kind of exciting. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna jump into our inventory here and kind of start looking around. So we've got a bunch of cool pipes and cool stuff like that that we can start to kind of incorporate into different areas. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of these orange shelving units and I'm just going to experiment just a little bit with those. And I don't think I actually grabbed anything. There we go. Now I got it. No, don't worry. Um, and I'm going to grab, let's, let's try this. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to start it like right here. So I'm going to space it one, two, three on the third block. I'm going to go all the way over here. And then I'm going to place this guy on top just to get an idea of scale because I don't know what the scale of this is at the moment. And I think that's okay. That's fine. Uh, this is more just shelving units, storage, and all that good stuff compared to like a workbench or something along those lines. Um, so we'll just put those along there. We're not going to put that one there because that's currently wrong. There we go. 
and we'll place that one right there. And then we'll just see how far we can take this. I would like to add storage like all the way down here. Um, we're a little bit off. Like see, ah, symmetrical. But how much are we off by? We're like one, two, three. Oh well, oh well, we're not 100% lined up, but that's okay, that's okay. We can't get too worked up about it. So as you can see, we can start placing down our supports down here like that. And I think that looks pretty good. And then we can, you know, add another layer of shelving on top of it to give it that extra little bit of detail. So as you can see, we just come back over here, we'll place that down like that. Place, oops, hello, you're supposed to be right there. Place that like that. And then of course, you guessed it, we're gonna place another shelving unit there. And then what we could do is if we really want to get crazy, we can head up on the top here and then we can add one more to go all the way to the top for all of our extra storage that we need. And we can do a big storage container up here. Come on, if I can get it lined up there, it would be great. But you can kind of see what I'm doing there. So that's what we're gonna work on, kind of figuring out what kind of shelving and different things like that we want to do. And yeah, so I'll catch you guys in just a minute. And welcome back. And as you can see, we've got our shelving all lined up and ready to go. And I'm adding a little detail to the ceiling, just a little bit here and there. So what I've decided to do is add the shelves up to about here and to there. And it lines up pretty well. It lines up not 100% as I wish it would, but it's okay. I think we've got a pretty good system going there. And I did notice that we did make a slight, slight scar mistake here. And one of our vents was a little bit off. So we've definitely got that fixed up. So we're just cleaning up this area because it was just a little bit off getting that all set up and ready to go, getting all these lines. And you know, for this little stuff that I'm doing right now, you know, and you're building along with me, you know, you can do that or you can't, you know, you just do whatever you want. This is kind of, you know, personal preference if you want to add the little extra details on the roof and stuff along those lines. It's super simple, just follow the lines. Um, so just kind of, you know, make little squares around these and look at that. And then we got a little extra detail for our roof. Now, one thing I thought would be kind of fun. So jump over here with me. Um, I'm gonna go boom, and you guessed it, bam. I'm gonna put a little controller here. I'm gonna put another little controller there. And it kind of looks like our orange platforms are lifts for our garage. So it just adds a little extra detail like that are always super fun. All right, so on this wall back here, it's a tire, it's a tire wall over here. So just little extra little details like this are super fun to do. So these are just some extra tires laying around the shop. So just start, you know, layering detail here and there. And this is when it just starts to get fun because you can start to get super creative and start, you know, adding lots and lots of little details here. We'll jump up there and add that. I don't know why that one's stuck on the wall over there. But uh, as you can see, just adding lots of little details like this really start to look really cool. And, you know, just put little ones along here, maybe a couple, maybe just stack a couple on top of each other here and there. And then we can jump into here and, you know, maybe we've got an extra gas engine and maybe an electric engine and different things like that that we can set here and there on our shelves. So we can put some of those pieces like that, put, put them along there and, you know, open this up. Hey, we got a couple controllers so we can set some controllers along here and then we can set them here and there. There we go. Look at that. So cool. Awesome. So yeah, just start layering that detail. And I don't even know what this is, but it's definitely getting put on this shelf somewhere. Ah, <laughs> there we go. I want to go, I want to have this put straight up, but I can't seem to get it the way I want. There we go. Come on. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll just set it like that. So let's set them down like that. And I think that looks pretty cool. And we could even maybe even set a couple of them along here, set them up like that. There we go, I like that. So yeah, it's fun, you know, just kind of put these in here. Ooh, I like that. They look like they're kind of like balanced on each other. So you can just stick one there and, you know, stick another one over there. Well, that one's not even really cooperating at all. So we'll just do it like that. There we go. Ah, I love it. There we go. We'll take that one out because it looks a little redundant having extra ones. So yeah, and then you know, you, you've got your orange box because I guess every good mechanic has got a cucumber box also. Oranges, cucumbers, you got the whole thing here. So we'll put, we'll put our uh, cucumber box. Hmm, cucumber box doesn't want to fit. Oh my gosh, our orange box is gigantic. Okay, so we won't put those there. We'll put this there. We'll see if we can get like this. Let's get a packing crate here set up. We can, you know, set those on there like that. And yeah, we'll just continue to add these boxes and extra details like this. 
All right, and welcome back. And I got a little carried away with the interior. Now, I didn't want to trial and error over and over and again on camera, so I just wanted to kind of finish it up and then we can kind of tour it and then hopefully you guys are inspired for your own builds here. And uh, as you can see, we've got all sorts of cool little details. And when you're designing something like this, you wanna try to kind of have in mind how somebody really would interact within the environment here. So we have some controls and some doodads for electrical, and then we have some form of filling station. So this area was designed to kind of look like it's some form of fuel station. So you have your valves and all sorts of little drums full of fuel, and you have some stored over here. And you can almost think of these as kind of valves kind of, you know, opening and closing on top. And then you have like this little device to maybe hook up a, a tube or some form of connection there. And then over here we have our pallets. So these were things that were delivered to Scar Industries, of course. And you got your, you know, your engines and your different details like that, like a seat. Now we talked about these earlier, these control the lifts over here. Now our shelving units, as we talked about before, we have these all arranged and ready to go. And you can see all sorts of little details, smaller items down at the bottom as they get larger as they go up. And then over here we have our power station. So we just have lots of little details here for the different power options within the build here. And yeah, so that is the uh, interior for the mechanic shop. Next, we're going to work on, of course, the uh, the area where, you know, you go and pay your bills and stuff like that. Uh, but next, we're going to work on a vehicle for our next episode. We'll get to this area eventually, but uh, I think we got a really, really good start on Scar Industries. I would love to freshen up the outside also and add all sorts of beautiful details. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed today and were inspired to build your own command shop. So until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos, and if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later, and don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Seriously, that scaffolding is truly amazing. So then we can jump over here, and we'll just bring these pieces up here like a so. There we go. And then just making sure, I would love a shift click. That would be amazing right now. I love a little shift click.